Okay, so I posted an intraday timing chart today and uh, there were a few questions on what the heck I was doing. So anyway, I'm just going to give you an idea of, um, of what I had set up earlier. Now, as far as the timing factors, what we're doing here is we're taking key highs and lows in the market and then projecting forward in time using the same Fibonacci ratios that I use for the price axis of the market. So what we're doing or what we're looking for when we run timing is we're looking for possible reversals of whatever the market is doing into the cycles. Since we were going straight down into the cycles, we wanted to anticipate a possible reversal back up. So here's the process. I basically, you know, had the swings set up that I wanted the computer to use to run the um, cycles forward. I project from the last high for the next possible low. Okay, so here I'm just going to go to reports, dynamic time projection, make a new report, and then um, you know run the report uh, forward, and click on the table and the histogram, and you can see that there's a you know standout uh, kind of the standout timing is right in here. Okay. So again, that's a time window that we would look at for a possible low. What I do is I then save the histogram below the chart. Um, I want to remember what I'm looking for, so I'll click on low ES 120 minute. Okay, and then, you know, it shows up below the chart. So you know that since we were trading straight down into this time window, we we're going to look for a reversal back up. Now, um, some of the higher support that I posted before um, before the low was made was taken out, but we did end up uh, tagging a different 1618 extension into that time window. And then, you know, like I said, it doesn't always work. It might work 60% of the time uh, when it triggers, but we did see, you know, nice triggers for the entries and we ended up having a rally of just over 100 S&P points. So that's what I'm doing. If that doesn't make sense, you know, I have all of those other videos on my YouTube channel and uh, feel free to ask questions.